Well, hello there, my paranormies, my Orbanites, and my Psychonaut friends. It's the Orbologist, and I'm here on behalf of our team, Danimo, Paranormal Research, Monica and I. I am here to announce that Planet X is no longer a hypothesis. Monica and I have captured actual photographs of Planet X or Nibiru or Planet 9, whatever NASA wants to call it. And they also claim no photographs have ever been taken of this planet. My amazing research partner, Monica and I, have captured beautiful images of Planet X with our color and light vision infrared camera. This planet is a beautiful blue planet, as you can see in the picture. Um, Monica has analyzed some of these photographs, as you see, to pull out the contrast for me, but the actual blues are the original photographs. Now, there's a face between Planet X and the Sun, and Monica has, has outlined this face for you, and I'm sure that it is a sign for humanity. We know what it means, but we want to see if you can figure out what it means, and if you can, put it in the comments. We, we, we would love to hear from our fans. You see the, the, see the image of the person? Monica brought that out with her imaging processes um, we saw a lot of things on the full eclipse um, we actually saw some um, UAPs we saw comets but I would like to tell you about this crystal skull that we have and we take it with us when we do our paranormal researches um, Monica sets it out into the full moon and recharges it and I believe this is one of the most important parts of our process of capturing these images that NASA says has never been taken before well NASA if you want me to help you photograph this planet X I'll be glad to assist you I have my own techniques Monica has her techniques and we use this crystal skull. Um, I know it works. I can show you how to do it. It doesn't have to be that technical. But anyway, the reason that this planet has not been seen before is because it is usually on the other side of the sun. And the sun is so bright that you can only see the sun. Well, during the eclipse, um, the sun was blocked out partially and that allowed our um, our color infrared camera to capture the most beautiful images of this planet that exist and so um, I would love to thank my beautiful amazing research partner Monica and um, I would like to thank um, the cosmos and this crystal skull that always assists us in our um, investigations so a lot of people saw a lot of different anomalies during this eclipse what I thought was the most interesting was a 10 degree drop in the temperature and everything cooled off I also noticed that prior to the eclipse all the birds disappeared they you couldn't see them anywhere you couldn't hear them obviously they knew that something different was going to happen so if you just go with the nature you can uh, understand a lot more um, about these anomalies than if you're trying to get too scientific. So NASA, if you need me to assist you in some of your photographs, I'm, being, I'm here for you guys. I'll be glad to help you. <laughs> As you can see, Planet X is a very beautiful blue frozen planet. Um, they claim there's never been any photographs taken of it. But that's hard to believe for me because they're so easy to capture during the eclipse. Um, and with my amazing analyst, Monica, she brings out the contrast 
and she brought out this face that is in between Planet X and the Sun. So this right here is where the face is, and she will have an outline here in the next few um, photographs. So this place, this person is assigned to the world and to the cosmos, and like I said, I would love for you to write in the comments what you think this face is or who it is. Um, this is the Orbologist, and this is speaking for Monica and Danimo Research. Over and out. Roger, Roger.